In this video, I'm going to show you my own experience with mining, my results with mining, and if you should mine as well, my own conclusion after all. Welcome guys, my name is Bill Kirpinto, welcome to my channel, if you are new, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all these crazy stuff, just do it please for the algorithm. And everything in this video will be based on my experience and you should take it as an advice. Just kidding. You shouldn't take this as an advice. Please, please, this is just for entertainment purpose. And before even trying to start mining, do your own research and make sure that you understand a little bit more than what I'm gonna say in, the, in this video. Not a while ago, I decided to give a try and I wanted to mine Ethereum, but my graphic card is less than 8 gigabyte, which is not advisable to mine Ethereum. So I went to what to mine and I found out that the best cryptocurrency will be Redcoin for my rig. Wait a minute, let me go back for a minute. When it comes to mining cryptocurrency, you will need first the algorithm to mine with, second the pool, third the wallet. Now I didn't have anything at all, so I didn't have any Redcoin wallet. I went to the website Redcoin dot org and then i click get your wallet select which one is your operating system and then download the operating system that you want and after all you're gonna get your wallet and then it sometimes it probably may take around three hours to synchronize all the blocks with the blockchain i think that that makes sense i use this to mine pool and the algorithm i found it is this one i'm going to leave all the links on the description so i started mining around for around one week and this is the result my result is around four or five dollars for around the one week again please i didn't mine for like every single day 24 hours per day no some days i just did it for around two three hours five hours and one or two days maybe for the 24 hours my current hash rate was around 4 to 32. Why 4? I don't know. But sometimes it was getting 4, sometimes 10, sometimes 32 hash rates and, and so on. But what su really surprised me is that at the end of the month, I saw my electricity bills and I was a little bit disappointed because I saw that and it was like, oh my god, it's like around 400 euros in electricity. If you decide to start mining, First, you need to know your location. I'm going to leave another link in the description so you will see electricity bills by electricity prices by households in 2020, which means it's not kind of different from 2021. As you may see, I'm here in Portugal. Right now, in Portugal, it's around 31 cents, right? It's like ranking about the third country's highest country which we pay way more than in the united states first of all you need to understand where you are right now the country that you are living in right now maybe you are living in south africa maybe you're living in the united states and then the united states they only pay like 15 cents uh per kilowatts per hour and so many other countries for instance some many african countries where they also pay very very less for electricity bills which means it's also like a good place for mining i'm not saying that you should mine but just for a minute, I'm gonna go there. And uh, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and many other countries as well, they pay very, very less for electricity. This is one of the first things to do. Make sure that you're not on the top of the list, please, because you may pay a lot of money just on the electricity bills. This is the first thing. And the second thing is you need to understand, you need to know or see if you have the best rig to mine. For now, it's very expensive to buy a new rig, to buy a new, maybe new graphic cards, right? And uh, it's kind of difficult nowadays, but if you have one, for instance, more than 8 gigabyte or more than 6 gigabyte, you can pretty much rank on there. But also you can go to what to mine as well. Go to what to mine. You will see very different things here. You just select which one do you prefer or which one you have on your computer, on your machine, and then select the one that you have, and then uh, select if you have two, two graphic cards, add a different one as well, and then select the algorithm that you're gonna use, and then click calculate. When you click calculate, it will show you 
all the data which one you should mine which cryptocurrency you should mine and which one you shouldn't mine so this is the single thing that you need to do and for me it's like if you pay less than electricity maybe you don't even pay and if you have a good computer this is a good place to start or if you are thinking on mining cryptocurrency now if you're on the top of the list please please for god's sake my advice is or maybe i should i should say that i shouldn't give you advice but you you shouldn't just do it as a conclusion i would mind only if i was looking for a long-term strategy let's say mine and then hold for around five ten years or maybe 100 years who knows and uh, all with better rigs with better computer with uh, a lot of graphic cards and so on with proper mining station or it's also possible or if they give me one year free of charge on electricity bills i will do it again so but at the same time i was thinking like wait a minute if i only made like four dollars right right now at the price of right now what is your rave coin and i spent more than 100 dollars on the electricity which means why i don't take this 100 dollars and then buy rave coin old for long term i mean would be much much better i don't know just my what i'm thinking so this is what i'm thinking and i think that you may agree with me anyways this is my honest opinion and if you are new subscribe hit the bell and uh, do all the stuff right there and uh, please then comment below what you think about this video i'm gonna leave my rave coin address on the description below and uh, please if you want just send me some rave coins i don't know maybe two three whatever anyways guys yolo yolo